But let's talk about this money business because, you know, the, the, the Rwanda word hasn't been mentioned yet. Nobody's gone there. Uh, we're now offering people three grand a time to go there if they'd like to go. Um, we're now spending millions and billions of pounds. People are being housed now permanently. We learned only yesterday, I think, that all the people who fail their asylum seeker uh, status don't ever go away anyway. They just stay here. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. And they're, it? and they're selling off the apartments as well that we apparently that we apparently. Oh bought. yes. And so, so I just read Suella was like, oh well that. Well, that's a shame. So yeah, I mean, like, it's like a giant pyramid scheme. Well, I mean, yeah, it is, and it's a get rich quick scheme. Exactly, yeah. and it's and it, and it's mortifying. And and obviously, you know, the amount of money that you just said, like the twenty five percent, like this is, this is this is money that they could have saved had they had the process in you know in mm. in place right. to deal with these immigrants yes. and, to, and to make and and to and to actually sort them out. But no, no, give them give put put, put them in a nice hotel. 25 percent right. of like our entire I mean the entire budget mm. is it, 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 it is crazy, and the scandal is they classified yeah. as overseas aid. When the reality yeah. is, it's what forty three of a four point three billion, twenty eight percent of the total budget yes. is crazy. The other side of the thing, there's a brilliant film at the moment called Il Capitan, or Il Capitano, which shows <laughs> actually the, the the migrant side of it, which is the horrendous torture, the who's murders, made this film? blackmail. Oh, wow. I've seen it. I've seen the thing, well, and it good. shows their yeah, but who's made it? Over. Who, yeah, who's made the film? Um, I'm not sure, but it was, it's, it's up for all sorts of awards. Go right. and have a look at it. What I would say, the people we need to, to deal with are the people traffickers. That's the abhorrent trade in all. They're the criminals, and they're, you know, obviously they're the ones that we've got to compete yeah. against. Right, effectively, right. we need to have those safe and legal routes in order to compete with them. But actually, what's really interesting about this, and you mentioned this, Sam, is the Home Office failure. Yeah. Home Home Office waiting list for asylum seekers went from 100,000 to 170,000. Mm. The real number is probably more than that, yeah. but that was the figure as of summer last year. And we've got to have these conversations about why these policies aren't working. Now, I'm personally not very pro-Rwanda policy. I think it's a bit of a waste of money. Mm. We're giving money to a foreign government. A bit government. of a waste of money. Not a huge amount of waste of money. We were spending huge amounts of money and then saying, actually, if you voluntarily come, you get three grand. I mean, it is really ridiculous. Yeah. But we saw this week with ECHR's uh, uh, commitment to this, this new ruling with the UN. We're talking about this, where effectively that actually this lawyer came in and said that those women in, in Swiss 70-year-olds were um, were able to then get that money back and actually say that they were they had their human rights uh, uh, violated. I think silly things like that mean that there is a potential for us to leave the ECHR. Sunak the has said that surely, we might do. The problem surely now is that the people who are here need to be put mm. somewhere, yeah. and somebody has to pay for that. And now whether we pay for their houses or yes. whether we pay for their... Um, you know, uh, asylum seeking. I think well, there's I 34 think million. Hang on. I think I there's. Think... Well, I think that might be the answer. But, but the, but the is... problem is at the moment, we have to, you know, they're here already. I'm not yeah. so concerned about the people who are not here yet. Mm. I'm more yeah. concerned about the ones who are here. But the money is going on the illegal on the illegal immigrants. That's that's the point. It's not yeah. which is a tiny which is a tiny percentage of net migration to this yeah, country. But a several tiny billion percentage. pounds. So, so, so tell so tell me why they haven't in all this time, they haven't managed to get enough people to process. They haven't managed to like they keep talking about all oh, the gangs, the gangs, but where is where is the progress? Where is where is yeah. where is anything? Tell, tell us something good. They, yeah. just, they just stand there going, oh Rwanda, that's the answer. No, but clearly isn't And yeah, not think, one person think, has gone to Rwanda. No, no, but, but, no yeah. but hang on. The problem is not necessarily with the government here. The problem is with the civil service because they clearly at the Home Office do not want to process anybody. Because oh. if they wanted to do stuff, they could have done it. There's plenty of people working there. They're just not doing anything. What does it take them one week to process one person? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, but if the, gov but if the government wants the, if the government wanted them to do it quicker, then they could have. No, they could no, they've they tried. Have, look, well, at all the the look at all the, the hang on, look at all is. the different home secretaries that have come in yeah. and you know, Sarah Bravo was the one who said she knows the home office better than anybody. She was a lawyer in the home office, she'll make mm. it work. She mm. couldn't make it work, Pretty Patel couldn't make it so work. Is it is it Beverly that civil it servants themselves are against the government? Mm. I think that's part policy. of it. Yeah. yeah, I think that's part of it. And I think it's, they it's don't want to do the job. And they know very well that if they don't bother um actually processing the cases. They'll just stay anyway. Do you think we, they're, we they're putting their feet up? Or yeah. They're putting their feet up in the offices and they're not in the office. Like, Meh. They're all at home. Ninety percent of work. Well, that's what they say. The Home Office spend, which rose by five hundred fifty-nine million in two thousand and twenty-three, that's the crazy thing. It's Rwanda, true. Rwanda's a distraction. They can only process two hundred people. So yeah. it's nonsense. You look at the figures that they have on sort of that sort yeah, of side. Yeah, forget about Rwanda. I'm going to ban the word. Exactly. We're not saying it anymore because Rwanda's not the story. Yeah. The story is the people that are here yeah. who are going absolutely nowhere. Yeah. Except 
except they're now being moved out of hotels yes. into housing, which is being purchased by the government. And they're not allowed and to which work. which has been given to them I, I, I think there's a real scandal about this story. What is would that you give them people, to do, though? I, a lot of them have tried to work illegally as well, uh, in, do. In, the, in the gig economy. Or maybe and they, I think or maybe that's absolutely could, fine. Or maybe they could use their own skills. I mean, we can't we can't say that, oh, they're, they're only good for cleaners or they're no, only good no, for no, doing this. Like, a lot of them will have their own skills. It is currently illegal for those people on asylum. They're effectively in limbo. They're not allowed to work. Their asylum seeker application hasn't been processed. Yeah. I would say it's much better for those individuals to be allowed to, to be given the right to work. I have no issue with an asylum seeker on a waiting list delivering my takeaways, to be completely honest. Well, you could, I mean, I guess what? Fine. They already are. They, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. who turns up at your door. That's the point. I mean, remember, they rounded up 20 uh, delivery drivers down in Brighton yeah. a, a few well, months ago, and they were all illegal. And, and, and that's the problem. And, and, but you need to keep track of these things. And yeah. also put the figures in perspective. They're talking about the Home Office spent eight million a day last year. Mm. And Eight million a day, absolutely crazy. Right. There's a safety in certain things about giving people jobs. You do need a, a sort of net migration and so on and so forth to make sure certain jobs like care and so on and so forth are filled. Yeah. But we need to deal with this.